What the hell is this stuff? Just stone. You need to hear it with your power. This is a nightmare. What's happening? Think about the worst possible thing that I could find. Oh no. Another one of those tricky mazes. What's the matter with friend? You hungry too? Let's say that I have problems with stuff that requires logic. Well, guess I'll die then. Okay. Take a nap, Mila. I'll wake you up after I've finished. I made it. <sighs> what year is it? Nice! Nice! Happy! Happy! Thank you, friend! No more hungry! No more angry! Really, how the hell can you handle a life of constant enthusiasm? Quick! Gather all the energy and get out of there! That's the only way to save Kahila! But if I do that, these fellows will die of hunger and... God, this is so cruel. Gather that energy and stop this madness, champion. Friend? Why don't Happy? Okay, let's play a Xanax game then. I'm sorry, Padara. You're back. Did you absorb it? Ah, uh, you huge stone, right, friend? Please, stop calling me that. Sheila, we need to go. Thank you, Avril. I'll never forget this. Yeah, I think. Let's go now. We have a tyrant to dethrone.
gone that slow on your planet? Listen, I literally haven't stopped a single second since I landed. And that great old place isn't really easy hiking terrain. Oh, I almost forgot about that. How did it go? He opened my eyes, that's for sure. Is everything all right? I told you, I'm just tired. First, and then maybe I'll give you that stupid rock. Uh, give me what I asked for now. Enjoy the energy of that stupid stone. I hope you choke on it. Wonderful. You're such a good puppet, human. 
defeat you, Izanek. And after that, this people and the planet will be free from your tyranny. You are free to try. Let's settle this like true warriors. Enter my domain and face your doom. Dad, you're safe! God, I was so scared. Are you okay, Kahilas? Yes, I'm fine. Please, make that fiend pay for everything he did to us. That monster is beyond salvation. He needs to be eradicated from existence. He poses a threat to everything that is sacred. Yes, but this is my fault as well. I feel so awful. You just did what you thought was right, Ave. Sanak is the only one to blame. Your friend is right, my beloved one. For this reason, killing him would be an act of mercy. He deserves way worse than that. His very soul has to be shattered. Do you mean that I could be able to defeat him inside his own head? Yes, his pride and his greed are so huge that they manifested inside a spiritual realm. If you strike them through your mental powers, he will become an empty shell. His pride will contain his obsessions and will be full of destroyers, while his greed will be a deadly maze. The choice is yours, child. It makes no difference to me. All I want is revenge for what he did. Remember that you are the keeper of balance, child. Revenge is not a feeling that we can allow nor consider. The only reason why he needs to pay is because he had no respect toward our mission. Saving Earth is our only true objective. That's harsh. But as much as I hate to admit it, they've got a point. So, my dear Avril, what part of his annex? Yes, I didn't expect anything less from a champion like you. His soul will be shattered forever. It's time for a reckoning.
trying to concentrate here.
My dad is alive thanks to you. I'm glad. Where is he now? He is resting. Izanek hasn't been gentle with him, but his soul is strong. He will recover fast. You saved our community, and we thank you for that. I'm afraid I didn't. I took the power from the Destroyer's Stone. It's a matter of time before they attack you. I'm sorry. Yes, that's a dangerous situation. We are on the eve of a great attack, and the City Guard needs to be reformed. Now that Azanik is dead, the gate to the Pinnacle should be open, and you can finally save your friend. Once you've done so, please don't ever come back here. What? Why? Because you killed Karador, that's why. He has been our protector for centuries, and you decided to end him just for your personal revenge? He helped Soren to destroy my planet. I had to do it. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Trust me, human. Exile is the best option for everyone. Now go, Keeper of Balance. The Guardian is waiting. Good day, dear Avru. It's nice to see you again. Oh, it's you. Why did you bring me here? I didn't do anything, darling. Your conscience did. Yeah, the same conscience that made me screw up with everything. Oh, uh, look, it's a perfect time for a cup of tea. Please, take a seat. <laughs> Traveling, you darling. It's just that this is all so wrong. Suddenly, I learned to travel across galaxies and face hordes of monsters, but I'm still not able to make the right choice. How could I claim to save Earth if I can't even save the one beside me? There are no right or wrong choices, there are only decisions to be made. And each of them will shape who you really are. Sugar. So that's the fate of a chosen one? What's the point of all this strength if I can't change my own fate? Look at the sky, darling. There are countless souls up there, just like you and me. They are nothing compared to immensity of space and time. And yet, even the smallest particle can shape the immortal shell of the universe with its own will, even if it doesn't want to. Maybe it will create new forms of life, or perhaps it will destroy everything it holds dear. And yet, they will keep on going, shaped by their own actions, until the day they die and ascend into something new and beautiful. That's... cryptic. <laughs> no, that's life. Remember, your decisions are a mirror of your soul, and it will determine who you want to be. Forget about the good or bad nonsense. Well, even if I do, I'm basically trash, if you ask regions. They hate you because you followed your own ego, and yet you still want to save them. Isn't that beautiful? 
So, how's the tea? Oh, pretty good. What was in it? It's a mixture of dried petunia and roses. Petunia? It's an exquisite sandworm. You won't find on Earth, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's gross. That's your rationality talking. And yet your body loved its flavor before you knew what it was. <laughs> Isn't it marvelous? <laughs> You're such a weirdo. <laughs> well, I think you should go now. Your friend is waiting. Oh, maybe there's something else I could do for you? Ugh. I don't think I'll be able to accept everything that happened. Even if I manage to fix everything by reaching the core. Thanks anyway, for your kind words. They helped. It's a pleasure, dear. Come back soon. I'll prepare some cookies. So, this is the pinnacle. The core is near. I can feel it. Mila? Did the spiders... Uh, huh. Really funny. The Guardian should be here somewhere. Any sign of it in that cave? No, but a moment ago I saw the biggest bug ever. It was like a disgusting minivan and... Mila? Mila! N no, I need to find her. Now, but how? Take a deep breath, child. Your bond with her is strong. Seek within your soul, and you'll have your answer. Focus. Focus. It worked! Is this the place where they brought her? Stupid spiders, you'll pay for what you've done to Mila! stupid web. Mila is inside here, and this is also the only way to reach the core. What a coincidence. As you may know, fate operates in the weirdest way, my child. Ah! Okay, maybe that wasn't my brightest idea. one of them. But this thing is still a problem. Mila is inside their nest. But I can't destroy it with my powers alone. In order to do so, you'll have to power up this ancient pillar, just like Kahila's told you before. It's connected directly to the core, so it has an incredible power. Wait a second. There's something written on it. Through physical form, a boxed ruby shines. Bursting through the amethyst wisdom and the diamond perfection. Inside a spirit form, an emerald light may purge the onyx malice, unveiling the truth behind the mysterious sapphire. Hmm. Perhaps I should hit the stones in a specific order? Not only that, 
You'll also have to find the catalyst to activate the pillar. We can feel their essence throughout this place. There should be four fragments. Ugh, what a pain. Don't worry, Mila. I'll be back in a second. 